It sounds like an easy job uh, analysing football matches and then you get games like that uh, and it becomes suddenly very difficult. One odd football match. Um, do you know what? The very first thing that happened right at the start of the day, it was chucking down with rain here and as he came off the pitch, the Chelsea mascot, poor little lad, slipped and fell over. And that told you something about the conditions and it made you think maybe this is a game where mistakes will be critical and mistakes will be decisive and for a long time it looks as if it would be Arsenal's mistakes that decided the game they found themselves 2-0 down uh, not performing well some big errors at the back and seemingly headed towards a defeat somehow uh, from the jaws of victory Ars uh, Chelsea managed to snatch a draw here listen Arsenal absolutely deserve credit for plugging away for improving as the game going on. I think Mikel Arteta's substitutions had a positive impact. But to, to my mind, Chelsea chucked this. They absolutely chucked it. And really, the key moment in the game was that mistake from Sanchez in the Chelsea goal. Um, he plays the ball straight out to David, uh, Declan Rice, who hits it first time. Beautiful clipped finish into the far corner. Showed good technique, good composure to take that on straight away and score with it. And from that point on, Arsenal grew and grew and Chelsea shrank and shrank. Um, and lovely equaliser, Bukayo Saka, who had a tough day, all told, against Cucurella. And I think, you know, was, wasn't close to his best. No one in an Arsenal shirt was, in fairness. But as is so often the case, even when he's not at his best, even when he's not at his level, he can provide a decisive moment, swings in, a peach of a cross. Uh, I think if you're a Chelsea fan, you're not happy with Sanchez being rooted through to his line at that particular point in time, but it's a beautiful, beautiful cross. And Leandro Trossard is there to finish well. And Trossard, you know, he is someone else who produces. When the big moments come, goals and assists are his trade. And a big, big goal from him today. Honestly, for Arsenal to get a point here, for Arsenal to leave with the two all, I think they'll be over the moon because they didn't really show up today. This was not uh, the Arsenal we saw against Man City. It's not the Arsenal we've seen for the best part of, I don't know, 15 months or so now, going back to the start of last season. Um, conditions, yes, but the conditions were the same for both teams and Arsenal couldn't get their passing game going. You know, in the first half, Martin Odegaard was anonymous, Jorginho and Zinchenko were unusually sloppy. Um, now, all that said, you could say about Chelsea's two goals, was there a slice of fortune involved? First one being a penalty. Um, cross comes into the box. I think it was Raheem Sterling who was exploiting that space in behind Zinchenko. Um, in comes the cross. Mudrick gets ahead to it. And William Saliba, I'm not going to say he handles it, it hits his arm. Now, uh, the law says something about if, uh, if your body position makes your body unusually big, words to that effect um, which makes it sound like he's eating a mushroom in Super Mario I, I think if a player took a shot from that position you'd say it was too close to the defender for him to react appropriately but because that rule exists about the position of the arm and because he did have his arms outstretched either side I can also see why it would be given so it's one of those where I think if you don't like it as a penalty it's probably the law that's an ass rather than the referees um, Anyway, they get their second goal. Mikhailo Mudrik, no doubt that's a cross. We probably can't be too salty about it. Bukayo Saka scored uh, a very similar goal against uh, Chelsea uh, Boxing Day, what was it, 2020? That time it was Saka's right foot dropping into the far corner. This time Mudrik's left foot. No chance in hell he meant that. Um, and yeah, I, I mean, look, David Rye is going to take stick as any goalkeeper will when a cross finds the net but I think his, his position is relatively reasonable there you know we like that about him that he's got an aggressive position on crosses um, but it, yeah it's certainly not pretty for him I think you'd have more concerns about the fact that 10 minutes later he passed it straight to Cole Palmer those are the mistakes that really will be concerning Arsenal fans and I did notice the away fans today singing uh, Aaron Ramsdale's song. Aaron Ramsdale not here, of course, because he and his wife have just welcomed a baby boy. So congratulations to them. Um, Arteta changed it at half-time. He brought Zinchenko off for Tommy Asu. 
I, I will say, a real bugbear of mine, the referee booked Zinchenko for a foul that Declan Rice made. Not literally, but a few minutes earlier, Declan Rice made a foul. All the Chelsea players, all the Chelsea fans wanted a booking. The referee didn't give it. I don't think it was a booking. But a few minutes later, Zinchenko commits a challenge. And because of the pressure around the Rice foul, referee brings out a yellow card. I don't think what Zinchenko did was any worse than Rice. I don't think it was a yellow card. It's a case of... Uh, a player basically being booked for an incident that happened with another player a few minutes before. I don't really like that uh, as a piece of officiating. And um, Zinchenko being on a booking was really hurtful to Arsenal, really costly, because that was always going to be the channel where Chelsea's threat was going to be. Sterling is in form, he's got pace, he's a threat in behind. And Zinchenko, well in behind what? Zinchenko's not there half the time. So having him on a yellow card meant he had to come off at half time. I'm glad Arteta made that change. You can make that change when you've got a player of Tommy Asu's calibre to bring on. And Tommy Asu won his first duel with Sterling in the game and I thought had a good second half. These Premier League games, I think changes are becoming increasingly important. Obviously, there's five subs available. Arsenal brought on the likes of uh, Nketiah, Smithrow, Trossard, Tommy Asu I mentioned, um, Kai Havertz as well, who I thought had a decent cameo, really, as a sort of midfield target man you know winning long balls winning flick-ons bringing it down um, he helped change the dynamic a little bit I think subs might be if you're looking for an Arsenal story today the story of the day their capacity to bring a new energy you know these games are exhausting very few players can play the 90 minutes at the same intensity Declan Rice is probably one, but very few others. So the fresh blood becomes really interesting and really influential in how the match swings. Um, and from a tactical perspective, I think they can just add a different dynamic, you know. Um, it's a goal from a substitute that's proved the equaliser today. But as I say, there were mistakes all over the place. You know, I've spoken about the goals from both teams' perspectives, but there were countless other misplaced passes, you know, mishits players going to clear the ball and missing it it was not a high quality game Arsenal players just going through their warm down behind me um, where are they oh there they are there they are um, it was not a high quality game and if Arsenal had lost I think there wouldn't have been too many complaints as I said there were too too long of this game where they didn't show up where they weren't at their level but they come away with a draw still unbeaten I mean listen you can spin it into whatever you like, mark of champions, what courage they've shown, what drive, what determination, they never give up. Yeah, sometimes I'll go for that. Honestly, today, I just thought Chelsea absolutely gifted it to us. And I'll take it. I'll always take it. Listen, I'll leave it there, guys. Uh, thank you for watching, as always. I'm heading out to Seville tomorrow. Um, so I will speak to you all on Tuesday, I imagine, uh, from Sevilla. But... Uh, do subscribe for more videos, more analysis. I hope there'll be easier games to analyse than this one because it was mental. All right, well, let me know what you think in the comments below. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.